it is looking like a nice day outside. But first, gotta grab some coffee, and then we'll go out the door. All right, got the coffee. All right, so the plan for today. As you guys know, I've been working on a mud bog recently. And last week, I finally got all the equipment to start work on it. And we finally got it pretty much done. It's close enough, but we still got some more work to do on it today. So that's what we're doing. Also, if you guys enjoyed today's video, give that like button a little tap. It helps me out a ton. Also helps the video out. And I would much appreciate it. Anyway, I'll see you guys out of the field. Okay, so this is where we've been working here the last few days. So we're just going to take a little drive out here. So this is kind of like the main mud bog pit. This place is huge back here. So we'll be able to put lots of mud in here, or at least make lots of mud and just have a fun time. And then over here is kind of like the bounty hole. This thing is deep. And we plan to fill it up with a bunch more dirt, water, basically make the perfect mud in here. So this is probably where we're going to be taking the big mud trucks. I don't imagine we're going to be taking anything like this as well. This ain't tall enough. But anyway, here, I'm going to jump in the rock truck and we're going to get to work hauling out some dirt to the mud bog and then we'll bring in some water with this right here. So I'll see you guys when we have some dirt. All right, we got a rock truck here full of dirt. Now, I do plan to take a few machines through the mud bog today if we get it finished, which we should. That's the plan anyway. Anyway, we'll just get to dumping this out here. There we go. Yeah, we're going to pack this thing full of mud. That's the plan, at least. But this is probably going to take quite a while, so I'll see you guys when it's a little more full. All right, so I have a neighbor down the road who has a ton of different construction equipment and stuff. And uh, I saw this over there and decided that uh, we needed something just a little bit bigger. And, well, this happened to be it. So he uh, said I could borrow it for the week. And, uh, well, it seems to be working pretty good. All right, well, I think we got enough dirt in here to start. So I'm going to hop in the water tractor there with the big old water tank and we'll see what we can do okay so this thing's already full so i'm gonna hop out of here and we're just gonna turn this on right, there we go okay we gotta get going gotta go well i think we've made this uh as good as we want it it's taking quite a while but i think we actually got it to a decent uh consistency here the uh john deere is just about barely making it through and since the john deere has such a wide track base and the fact that the uh water trailers on tracks i think it would go through pretty easily regardless of uh how thick the mud was but it seems to be doing a pretty good job and i think we're definitely going to get some vehicles stuck in it that's for sure but i think it is about good uh oh oh we're gonna make it and we got it this isn't as deep as i thought it was gonna be eventually we'll try make it deeper i think but for now i think we can still take some of the quads through and stuff and uh maybe not get them completely sunk so we're gonna try it out and then probably next week here we're going to get going on that massive mud pit over there oh yeah we're definitely sinking down quite a bit. I don't know if we've got it exactly how we want it, but eventually we will have it there. It's definitely a mud bog, that's for sure. It's definitely giving the Yamaha a run for its money. Oh, boy. Whew. Just about smacked the water trailer. I think there is a few things we can do to better it, but for now, I think we pretty much got it. Oh, yeah. We're slinging up some mud. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's awesome. All right. Well, we've got that about as good as we can get, so I'm going to head back. We're going to go grab some toys there. Probably going to load them up on a trailer since it is about a little bit of a drive down here. So I'll see you guys when we're back at the ranch. Well, we're going to take the back entrance to the shop here this time. Usually works pretty good unless the shop door is locked. Okay, guess we got to go around. I think after today, we're going to have to go buy one of those nice pressure washers because we don't really have a terribly nice one at the shop right now. So yeah, we might have to fix that. So what are we going to take today? I think we can actually take this trailer. Maybe we'll take something bigger. So... I want to take the two can ams and then probably the big mud truck here. So I'm going to pull this out of there. There we go. Okay. And then I'll grab another truck here that we can hook up to the other trailer. Okay. Now the question is, will those can ams or just one of them fit on the top of this? We'll see. I think we're going to take this one, the two seater, because it is a little bit shorter and it should fit on there better. But you know what? Screw the lift. We're going to take the stairs instead. All right. Let's try this out easy. This thing is fast. I think we got it. Okay, good. It's not perfect, but we got it. Oh man, is this gonna fit out of here? I don't know. But well, we're gonna grab the other trailer if I can actually back up under there. Uh, maybe. Oh, just barely. And we got it. Perfect. Oh man, this is gonna be one heck of a rig. All right, we'll load the Yamaha on and then we'll go grab the other Can-Am. Eventually though, I still gotta lift that Polaris to make it look like this. Hey, okay, gotta take it easy. And good. Drop it down, drop this down too, and we're gonna get out of here. Man, is the GMC gonna be able to handle this? I think so. All right, so we got the GMC on following me behind this truck here. So we're gonna head out to the mud pit there and see what the heck we can break or get stuck. I think we're gonna break something pretty fast though. 
Okay, y'all seriously need to stay in your pen. I'm telling you, the grass is not greener on the other side. If you guys have any ideas on how to keep them in their pen, let me know in the comments section because I got no idea. Also, let me know what we should maybe take through the mud pit next because we're kind of bringing everything out here today, but maybe we should get a Prius on tracks. Maybe a big truck on tracks. I don't know. Maybe another monster truck, something like that. Let me know in the comments section and maybe I'll take it through there. Anyway, I'll see you guys at the mud bog. And here we are. We got plenty of space to unload everything, which is great. That's what I love about this field. Also, I still have not changed the colors on the mud truck. I will, though. I promise. I've just been really busy trying to build all this here. So eventually we will change the colors on it. All right. So we're going to unload the Can-Am here. Eventually we'll get everything else unloaded. But I do want to try out the Can-Am. That's what I'm most excited about. All right. Here we go. Should we turn on all the lights? Yeah. Okay. We're going to turn on all the lights. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, wait. Here we go. Yep. We're going to make it no problem. <laughs> okay. Oh, not even a question. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, we're going to break so many things today. Well, it made it through the mud pit. No problem. I'm going to try it again here. Oh, man. It's just covering this thing in mud. It's like it's not even trying. Well, I think I got a few things to fix on the mud pit here, but I want to try out some other vehicles here. Probably should turn the lights off or else my battery is going to die, but we're going to break a lot of things today. Okay, let's try out the Chevy, but this ain't even the biggest mud truck that we're going to get. I have a few uh, things planned where we're going to get some pretty big mud trucks. This is just a starter. All right, here we go. All right, let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. It's not even a question for this. I could probably go through it at a quarter of a speed. And yeah, it's just not even an issue. Well, I think this will be our truck to tow things out if uh, the situation gets a bit sticky. But uh, yeah, I think we have concluded that the mud pit needs some work. But for now, I want to try out this Can-Am. Because this one is supposedly supposed to have more power than the other one. So we're going to find out. All right, easy. I want this thing to fall off. Perfect. That's how it's supposed to be unloaded. Maybe we should have a pressure washer down here. That might be the better situation. Because then if you bring your trucks all home muddy and stuff, then you got to deal with all that mud around the yard and the shop. So maybe I should have a pressure washer out here. Maybe we'll build something. But anyway, we're going to try this out here. And we're just going to send it. Yep, it's like butter. It just goes through there. Kicks up a ton of mud, though. Oh, man. Yikes. Oh. Uh, we just kind of cleared that fence there. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised I haven't broken anything yet. All right. So I got to find a way to make the mud deeper in here. Oh, don't want to go in reverse. Because currently, all of these just fly right through it. I mean, mind you, they have a ton of power and pretty much everything that we've taken through here. So it's kind of a given. So maybe what should we take through here? That's probably not going to do terribly well, or that would be like an average vehicle. I don't, I don't know. You know what? We're going to take the rock truck through. We're going to take the massive, probably one or $2 million rock truck through a mud hole. And we're going to see how this goes. I don't imagine it's going to go too great, but what the heck? We're going to try it. All right, here we go. Oh man, this thing's so slow. Uh, oh, oh, what? Excuse me. Oh, oh, we're spinning. We're spinning. Okay, I think there's a few things we need to fix about our mud pit if a stinking rock truck can make it through. Yeah, there's a few things we need to fix. A rock truck should not be able to make it through that. I mean, look at those tires. Okay, you know what? You know what? Fine. I want to get something stuck today. What the heck? We're going to try this. All right. I don't know what this is going to do, but we're going to find out. If this thing makes it through, I think I failed at making a mud pit. Oh, it is just, it's just going through. I mean, you can turn like that, so that might help a little bit. Oh, we're struggling a little bit, and we're through. You know what? Could have brought the Polaris there and just seen if it went through. I don't know if it would, because that thing's on stock tires. It might have made it through, but I think next time that we come back here, we're definitely going to bring some uh, some different things, and uh, obviously, we're going to have to make the mud pit a little bit better, so I'm going to try experiment with a few different things. Try to make it uh, a little bit better than the whatever this is. It's not much of a mud pit at the moment. So we're probably going to have to take everything home dirty, but I think I will eventually bring a big pressure washer out here. That way we can actually clean off the vehicles before we take them home. And I'm not dragging all that mud in the yard. All right. This is always hard to load up because you're always on the very edge since this thing is so wide. Easy. Easy. I think we actually got it pretty perfect this time. Anyway, guys, we're all loaded up here. So we're probably going to head back to the house let me know what else we should bring out here for next time. And I'm going to try and make the mud pit a little bit better because right now you can pretty much take anything through it and it's going to make it through. So eventually, I'm going to try to bring a few things in here that'll make it a lot better. 
Anyway, guys, that's going to be the episode for today. If you did enjoy, smash that like button. Also, if you're new, consider subscribing. Hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see y'all next time. Cranking up the radio, playing old Hank, it ain't that long, till I'm back at the farm. I'm pulling up the truck, down at the dock, it's time to do.